New polling from CBS News is providing insight on how Americans view the economy, migration, as well as their thoughts on President Joe Biden. About two thirds of Americans say things are not going well right now, and it's impacting how they view the president, with only 41 percent saying they approve of how Biden is handling the job. So for more on this, I want to bring in CBS News Executive Director of Elections and Surveys, Anthony Salvanto, here in Studio 57 to break down the numbers for us. Anthony, it's always good to see you. Good I'm like a little confused because we sort of tease that they that people were feeling really good about the economy. <laughs> so, okay, let's talk about this. We saw this like end of year surge in the mm -hmm. stock market and usually yeah. people think, oh, that's really good. So, but how do they really feel about the economy? Let's call it less worse. Okay. Right? okay, okay. <laughs> That's a little, little confusing there. But look, it, it is better in a relative way, okay. and I'll show you why, right? This is the chart of how people have felt about the economy. As you pointed out at the top, it's still majority bad. So that is your top line. But things have gotten a little bit better in people's evaluations of late, right? Now it's as high as it was back in February 22, yeah. so better than it's been in quite a while. And I'll show you a couple of things that, that go with that. And this is when people look ahead and you ask them, what do you think is going to happen over the next year? This is sort of what I mean by less worse, right? There's fewer who think it's going to be slowing down. There's a little bit fewer who think it's going to be in recession. Mm -hmm. So it's not a ton of optimism, but it's relatively better. Right. Right. So, but... The economy, when you look at it on paper, is actually doing much better yes. than perceptions and even polling suggests. Uh, it's actually, you know, we can dig into the numbers. That's not what you're here to do. But uh, just to say that it's beating pre-pandemic predictions. So, so yep. what is going on in the way people perceive the economy? Yep. And it, that's really important because economists and the general public have been at that sort of disconnect for a while. Some of it is in what people pay at the gas pump, at the cash register. And we've talked about the fact that even though the rate of inflation is slowing, prices are still high, right? They're not coming down. Mm -hmm. Well, here's an example where people have noticed them coming down. This is gas prices. So a lot fewer think they've been going up in their neighborhood and more, a lot more relatively, say they've noticed them going down. Hmm. And that in turn is having an effect. So there's often a lag between those macro numbers and what people feel. There's a little bit of politics mixed in. Republicans are never going to say the economy is good historically while there's a Democrat in office. OK, but all of that is sort of this slow movement back up that lags those numbers. Mm. And so are they connecting any of this to the president? Because as you know, I mean, part of his campaign up until very recently has been, look how great we're doing. The economy is great. It's called Bi Bidenomics. He's pivoting away from that now because it just didn't seem to be working. Um, but how do, are they connecting the economy to him? His approval rating is steady. His rating on the economy is still net negative, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's often historically harder for a president to get credit for a good economy than to get blame for what's seen as a bad one. Right. Okay, that just kind of comes with the job. But you're right, and also you to look at the things that they're focusing on now. The president's starting to focus more on his, you know, points on democracy. Right. Republicans are forced, uh, talking a lot about the border, uh -huh. right? So it seems like on either side, there's a little bit less talk about the economy and it may be because of that smaller improvement. Interesting. Uh, let's talk about uh, immigration yeah. and what people are thinking when it comes to uh, what's happening at the southern border. Right. Well, um, first of all, there's been an increase in the number who say that what's happening there is a crisis. All right. So that's number one. And there's a majority who say it's either a crisis or a big problem. So people are taking notice. You unpack that a little bit, though, and you say, like, what, what should be done? What should be done is strongly tied to what people think is the reason that this is happening. And let me show you this. When you ask Democrats, why are migrants trying to cross the border? Their top answers, there's a lot of them, but their top answers are that the migrants are fleeing bad economic conditions in their country or increased danger in their own country, right? Now, you ask Republicans why it's happening, and they point to rule changes by the Biden administration and not enough security at the border. When you look at differences in why people think migrants are trying to cross, then that goes to policy solutions. So the Republicans say more border security. The Democrats say faster processing, more expedited processing either way for asylum seekers. Wow. So that goes to the, the policy outcome.
Very interesting. Yeah. As always, Anthony Salvanto, these numbers uh, are going to play a big role next week when we talk about what's going on in Iowa. Thank you very much. Great.